serious right now? What's going on here? Are you serious, Marcus? What is this? What's going on here? Nothing. No, tell me what you're doing here right now. Today I want to tell you guys about the time that we helped Yo-Yo place her boyfriend's Marcus to an epic loyalty test. Okay, okay. What you doing here with Lil' Mustang then? I already told you, this is our follow-up appointment. I'm showing you the- A follow-up appointment. Oh, so you a doctor too? You a doctor too? Marcus, this is not a date. Marcus, I'm this is a date. This is a date. I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her. It goes without saying that Marcus ended up failing this loyalty test. But before I can let you guys watch the rest of this confrontation, I gotta give you guys some short, sweet context. So during lockdown, Marcus picked up photography as a hobby, and Yo-Yo was helping him out by asking some of her friends to model for him. Well, this is where Yo-Yo's trust issues began. See, some of Yo-Yo's friends ended up telling her that during their photo shoot, Marcus was acting a little thirsty. And well, to make a long story short, it was this thirsty behavior that made Yo-Yo want to place Marcus to the test. Yo-Yo, how are you feeling? I don't really know what to expect, and it's kind of sad to say that, you know, I don't trust my boyfriend 100%, <laughs> but... Well, I mean, I, you do have your reasons, though. Right. I I just hope that he, you know, proves me wrong and that I can trust him. That's right. all. Well, this is what I say. Go in expecting the worst, but hope for the best. That's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, I don't, want, I don't like to be a liar. Oh, so you got it like that. Okay. No, <laughs> not like that. <laughs> so our friend Madeline would be our decoy. For this test, we had to pretend to be another one of Yo-Yo's friends and reach out to Marcus. Madeline pretended to want to work with Marcus and ended up convincing him to come take pictures of her at her supposed home. Now, what Marcus didn't know, though, is that this wasn't really Madeline's home. What he also didn't know is that this was all just the first portion of his loyalty test. Yo-Yo would be in another room watching and listening in to see if Marcus would make a move on Madeline or not. Now, if Marcus didn't make a move on Madeline, we instructed Madeline to flip the tables and make a move on him. Hey, Marcus. So Madeline just got the call that Marcus is here. Okay, awesome. Just meet me at the front door. Hello, hello. Hey, how are you? Nice to finally meet yeah, you. you too. How, how was the drive? Uh, it wasn't bad. Not bad. I can't complain. There's a lot of stairs here, just to forewarn you. <laughs> so this is the living room. I did want to shoot on the balcony. There, the one upstairs, though, unfortunately, <laughs> not this one. So I'll walk you up to the balcony upstairs while I change it to my my first outfit. Okay. So some of Yo-Yo's friends had told her that Marcus was acting a little flirty during their photo shoots, right? Well, for the first portion of this test, we wanted to see if Marcus would end up acting like that with Madeline. Um, but I'm gonna go get changed into my first outfit. There's two, by the way. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so if you wanna just take a seat, do you need anything at all? Oh, no. You, you, do you have, any, you have any other equipment? Nope. Just okay, the perfect. Go. Awesome. Well, just hang tight. I'll be back <laughs> shortly, okay? okay. Madeline was gonna give Marcus two outfit changes, or AKA a little over 30 minutes to shoot his shot. After changing into the first outfit that she would be modeling, Madeline then made her way back upstairs to Marcus. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Yo-Yo okay. watched on through the wireless GoPro connection and contrary to what we thought would happen, the photo shoot was actually quite professional. Marcus didn't end up making a move on Madeline in her first outfit, so Madeline went back downstairs, changed, and then came right back up with her second outfit now on. Oh, he's really getting those angles. <laughs> okay, nice. Looks on looks today. You know. Those last ones were great. I can't wait to go look through. Yeah. Marcus took some cool pictures of Madeline, which you'll see how we got them later, but he wasn't flirting with her. Sure, there were compliments thrown around here and there, but they were more photography based. You wanna check them out inside? It's a little hot. Yeah, let's definitely oh, do yeah. that. I'm like sweating. I definitely do. <laughs> so Marcus remained professional and didn't end up making a move on Madeline, so it was now time for Madeline to flip the script. As instructed, Madeline brought Marcus back inside by asking him if she could check out the photos and share a small celebratory drink with him. So just take a seat here. I will change and be right out. And we're gonna have a celebratory drink, by the way, so prepare yourself. Just start pulling out the pictures, okay? Of course, the real reason why Madeline invited Marcus back inside and offered him a drink was because she was about to ask him on a date. I am so wet. Hey. <laughs> okay, so let's do that drink. I have Trulies. Is that cool with you? Truly. What are they like? Sparkly water, but spiked? Oh. I guess. Like the claws. <laughs> like the claws, exactly. But they're Trulies. Yeah. 
Marcus ended up taking the bait and accepted a drink from Madeline. We had Madeline offer him a drink in the first place as a way to keep him there for at least 20 minutes. See, drinking and driving is of course illegal, so the second that Marcus were to take one sip, Madeline could guilt trip him into staying for as long as she needed to make her move. How long does it usually take you to get photos out? I could have a few of them done in a few hours. I'll have the rest of them done by the end of the week, though. Okay, bet. I definitely like a more natural, like, edit, you know, nothing, like, crazy. Crazy Photoshop and, yeah, you know? and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Why is he still sitting there? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't understand, you know, why he's still sitting there. Do you usually, do you, you drove here, right? Yeah. Okay. So, you're gonna have to wait a little bit to leave, sorry, because... <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait. Because <laughs> no drinking and driving, come on. No. <laughs> come drinking on. and driving, it's, it's, it's uh, sparkling water. 5% is 5%, okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't think 1% is gonna do anything. <laughs> oh, I know he's not falling for that. I know he is not falling for that. Why is he still sitting there? Like, doesn't that sound suspicious to you? He's grown, he could call an Uber. So you got any cool plans for the weekend? Nah, not this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> gotta chill this week and a lot of work this week, so yeah. And I gotta edit these pictures. So. True, you're true. You're right. You're right. Well, if you find some time, um, I am throwing a party next Saturday. If you want to oh, come through, nice. Where here? No, I'm actually gonna run an Airbnb, so like a little bigger house. Mm. It starts like at eight, but if you want to come in earlier, maybe you can bring like the final edits in and you can show them to me. <clears throat> I guess so. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Like if you come around four, I think we'll have time to like look at the photos. And maybe we can take Ooh. a dip in the pool, maybe order food. I can set up a little picnic, you know, make it into like a cute little date, a little mini date. A pop-up little date. Yeah, a little cute little mini date, you know. If you're up for it, of course. Yeah, I'm cool. definitely down for that. Yay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll set it up then. Ooh. How does this not sound suspicious? <laughs> So our tactical move had worked. Madeline was able to keep Marcus there until she made her move. And after making her move, she proceeded to kicking Marcus out. FML, I have like an errand to run. I'm so sorry, I have to cut this short. <laughs> you like kicking me out? I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not kicking you out. You're more than welcome to say, just kidding. No, I'm I gotta finish my alcohol though. I thought it was about my safety, but-, but I know, I'm nah, sorry. Nah, you got what you wanted, so now it's time for me to sorry. go. Sorry, <laughs> wow. So this is what he does, <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I said, now we just have to wait a week and stuff. So Madeline is pretty much just going to message him oh, and stuff. If he shows up, it's over. <laughs> it is over. So maybe, just maybe, that one drink that Marcus drank made him susceptible to agreeing to go on this mini date with Madeline. Maybe it really messed with his head, you know? That's why Yo-Yo decided to give Marcus a chance to go home, sleep off the drink, and then decide if he really did or didn't want to go on that mini date with Madeline. Unfortunately though, after Madeline texted him later that week, Marcus was still down to go through with the mini date. Now, if you guys recall, Madeline had told Marcus that they would be getting together at a bigger house, but we decided to save some money and execute the second phase of this test at our apartment. I mean, besides, all we were doing this time around was simply waiting and seeing if Marcus would actually end up showing up, which as you all know, he eventually did. This is one of the ring cameras downstairs for when they're in the kitchen and stuff, because there's no cameras like pointing towards the kitchen. So I'm just gonna set this up right over here so you could like see that too, okay? Yo-Yo, myself, and the rest of our crew hit upstairs as Madeline waited for Marcus to arrive downstairs. Soon enough, Madeline ended up receiving the call that Marcus was here. Hey, hold on, hello? Marcus had arrived as he said he would, and with him, he brought an unexpected surprise. Unbeknownst to us, Marcus brought Madeline a vodka bottle and a whole damn teddy bear. How are you? I got you something good. Ooh, bottle, okay, we got get you a bottle, and then oh, my goodness, thank you. What, what was that in her hand? Oh my God, I don't know. Marcus. Can you see here in that? Let's zoom in here. Can I offer you anything to drink? Oh, uh, no, I'm good. Can I use your back? Yeah, it's right behind you. A bottle. And a teddy bear. And a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the bottle, because it's a party. Right. But the teddy bear? He's sprung. That's what it is. He's definitely sprung right now. This is ridiculous. Remember, Marcus thinks that there's a party happening later tonight, so I can see why he brought the bottle, but the teddy bear, that was a bit much in my opinion. How was the drive? Oh, it was, wasn't bad at all. Actually. Wasn't bad, yeah, good, yeah. I'm glad. 
Regardless though, all Madeline had to do now was simply hold Marcus there until Yo-Yo was ready to confront him. Madeline did so by asking Marcus to finally airdrop her the pictures that he took of her. She would be checking them out for the very first time for as long as she could. So Madeline pretty much has completed her job. She sat him down right where we wanted her to. Um, now she's just basically holding him there. So now it's pretty much just up to you if you still want me to go down there and have a conversation with him. Although you don't have to, if you don't want to, you can always change no, your I, mind. No, I want to. You want to? Yes. So do you think that like this isn't now because some people would actually consider it like oh he didn't even do anything with her he didn't he no, wants he to did. do something with her L literally look at him what is it with the teddy bear and the bottle like if you're just supposed to be showing her pictures do you do that for all of your clients <laughs> Ooh, who is she some people just look real good natural so thank you <laughs> so that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us back to where this video started. Yo-Yo has decided to confront Marcus, and I can now let you watch the confrontation in its entirety. Last thing before you do, though, don't forget to cop yourself some exclusive, limited, new merch that we just dropped. But okay, with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope that it was worth the wait, and most importantly, I hope you guys have your talkies, because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. Are you serious right now? What's going on here? Are you serious, Marcus? What is this? What's going on here? Nothing. No, tell me what you're doing here right now. What are you talking about? I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her? You trifling. I'm, yes. I'm trifling. You are trifling, I'm Marcus. I'm not trifling. Okay, okay. What you doing here with little Mustang then? I already told you, this is a follow-up appointment. I'm showing her the- A follow-up appointment. Oh, so you a yes. doctor too? You a doctor too? Yes. Marcus, not a date. Marcus. I'm this is a date. A this is a date. I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her. This is a date, and you are cheating on me I, right I, I now. And I need you to admit that you are cheating on me right now. Do I look dumb? So that's what the cameras are about. No, this Marcus. Is an no. Of no. Or no. This isn't an episode of cheaters. This is an episode of me catching your dumb ass red-handed. That's what it is. I I can see how you might think this is cheating. I wouldn't call what it. would you call it? What would you call it, Mr. Professor? Tell everybody what you would oh, call oh, it. Okay, this is our follow-up appointment. A follow-up appointment from our first appointment. I'm showing her the pictures that I had. You know what, Marcus? God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. Start telling the truth, I'm, please. I'm telling you the truth. No, be, you're, you're a fucking liar. This, the answers have been the same. And you still don't understand them. I am here for a follow-up appointment. How is this a follow-up appointment? You couldn't have just shut... Send her the pictures. We, we, we met once, so I can sir, take you couldn't have. Sir, listen to me. And then so you I couldn't have just her emailed her the photos. Product. You couldn't have just she emailed her the photos. She told me not to email them to her. She oh. asked me to come over here. Oh, so you just do everything everybody you. tells you. It's called work? Oh, this is the working. Phone? This is working. <laughs> you were here four hours prior to the, the party that you said you were coming here to attend. So what are you doing here four hours early? The client asked me to come to her house mm -hmm. prior mm -hmm. to the party okay. that she's throwing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. For like, you to I show her pictures. It's gonna take your slow ass, ass like, four hours to show her some pictures? It, That's, it, some it That's some bullshit. Like, That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit and you know it. Stop lying. You look stupid right now, Marcus. She told you her intention. She told you her intention. You didn't have to physically come here and go on this little date with her, this little mini date or whatever you want to call it, Marcus. You're right, I did not have to, but the client asked me to. She asked me to come over here. Look, Madeline made it. Ma look at me. Ma so look at that's me. That's what I'm doing. Madeline made it clear to you that her intentions were for the both of y'all to be on a date. Right. And you accepted. But you accepted. Obviously, she invited me. You thought I just walked up in this bitch? Okay. I wouldn't be doing any of what? this. She asked. If one, you didn't introduce me to this bitch. The fuck? <laughs> she asked Two? you. This is our follow-up appointment because she asked me to come over here. She asked you to come she over here for a date, Marcus, and you brought her a teddy bear and what else? A bottle. And a bottle. She said she was having a party. I brought oh. gifts. Oh, okay. And the fuck? So you just bring you gifts dumb? for all of your clients. No, you are I done, bring Marcus. I gifts to parties that clients invite me to. Marcus. You show me other people's parties Marcus. and be handed? Marcus. Oh, dumb you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I don't need a man that brings me this much stress in my life. You, you so, created so, this stress. Shut the fuck up! Did you come Shut the Jesus? fuck up! I am talking! Yep. Look at me! Oh, Look at me! 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 I am talking to you! 
I have trusted you, Our I have supported you, day. and I gave your sorry ass a chance, and this is all all that you have to say for yourself? That's your fault. Oh, so now I'm, I'm done because I tried to help because I tried to help you. Now I'm stupid. Now I'm stupid. Okay, you know what? I, I, I don't even want to deal with this anymore. Ain't nobody wants your funny ass anymore, okay? So what, what I need here? because Step. No, no, what I need from you Listen to me! What I need from you is my phone back, okay? It's my phone because I paid majority of it. So give me my phone back, please. That's that all. That don't even make no sense. No, give me my phone back. You paid $200 please. and that's the majority of this brand. Yes, phone. yes, Marcus. I need and the I'm, money back. I'm dumb. I need I, the I money got back. No cash right. Just give me my, my money back, please. I don't have any cash. You don't have I'll any get paid cash. Until next Friday. Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine, Marcus, because we accept Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, all the forms of electronic payments. So please just give me my money back. How am I supposed to send you money if I don't have any money? Okay, that I is have fine. Money next week. That is fine. And I'll just hold on to the phone. Five minutes after I got in here. Oh, so I can't even do that. Mr. Professor, there's this little thing we call a charger. Does anybody have a charger? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, th it makes no sense to do that. I have no money. Okay, well, like I was saying, since Marcus doesn't have any fucking money, give me the phone back and I'll hold on to it as collateral. Just give me the phone. <laughs> Simple. Give me the phone and you can that, pay me that, next that Friday. That makes no sense. No, it makes that perfect makes no sense. sense. It makes perfect sense. Can I get paid? No, give me the, you, you give me the phone. Me give me the phone. We got the charger, give me the phone. I don't have any money, what's the charger? Give me the do? phone. Wait around here. Are you deaf? Are you deaf? Give me the phone. I mean, I might be deaf now. You can give me the phone. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going to the bathroom? Give me the phone first. Where are you going to the bathroom with my phone? This this man is fucking ridiculous. He's a fucking bastard. Did he have to go number one or number two? So apparently Yo-Yo helped Marcus pay for his phone and she's now asking for that money back or to hold on to the phone as collateral. The big question is though, will Marcus even give her any of that? Where's my phone, Marcus? Where's the phone? Marcus, where's the phone? In the bathroom. Where's my phone, Marcus? I, give me my phone. I Actually, give me my phone. Give bathroom. me my phone. I just told it you. It better be in the bathroom. fucking bathroom, Marcus. Anything? I swear, this if this phone is not in here, I will fucking burn all you of it. You ain't gonna do shit. Oh, fuck you, Marcus. Fuck you. I know he did not throw. What happened? This man threw my phone in the fucking toilet and pissed on it. Come, come, come get this. Come get this. This is the kind of man that Marcus is. This is the kind of man that he is. He threw my phone in the toilet and he pissed on it. So rather than just coming to some sort of agreement with Yo-Yo about the phone, Marcus instead had decided to stoop down to a very low level. I, I'm gonna grab all of his fucking equipment and I'm gonna light that shit on fire. Ooh. Are you good? Oh my goodness, no, I am not okay right now. He threw my phone in the toilet. He threw my phone in the toilet and he didn't just throw it in the toilet, he pissed on it. Oh my God, that is so nasty. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Somebody please tell me what I'm supposed to do with that. And I don't know what kind of diseases Marcus might have now that he's been running around on me. Um, we'll get the one on a charger and see if it still turns on. This is what happens. This is what happens when you trust men. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just the truth of it. This is what happens when you trust men. Oh my goodness. This dude is really trifling. Like he actually threw my, he had the audacity to throw my phone in the toilet and then pee on it. Like what kind of animal does that? Because that's what he is, he's an animal. I mean, I think they're waterproof. 